Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. This is A Touch of Tarot. And this is an Obey reading, though I really feel the vibe of a bedtime tarot reading. So we'll see what happens. The first message I received here, by the way, there will be an extended, but let me just get right into this. The first message I received here is someone saying to another, you go your way and I will go mine. I had to clarify with some other cards just to make sure I was on the right path kind of thing. Um, the first card I received here is the Ten of Gems. It was actually in the reverse protection. So that could be why this female here is worrying. Um, maybe she's no longer secure, no longer protected financially, um, if there's going to be some sort of a separation happening here between two people. Uh, I'm sure you guys can see that this woman is elderly, but it doesn't really matter just how old um, this person is. Oh, my little plant. But I think this is saying they've been in a, a relationship for a long time, especially with the Ten of Pentacles also being there. So this person is worrying right now. Maybe this person's 42. That's not old at all. Um, I'm just trying to let you know. I feel like this person has been in a situation you know, and even my little plant just chipped off there and it's going to be fine. Um, it's just the same type of message. You go your way and I'll go mine. Okay. Nope. It wants to hang out. Let it hang out. So I've been shuffling the cards. I'm just noticing now the five of wands, the bridge of sorrow, which is about a masculine saying it's time to go and a feminine saying, wait a second, you know, like, no, let's not do that. Even though we're not lovers. We're just like brother and sister. We're just like father and daughter. But, you know, let's just go home and act like everything's normal. Let's just go home and pretend everything's okay. But look what's underneath there, right? The full card. So someone wants to go. Someone wants to break free. So what is the energy between the two for the karmic situation this week? Let's just say this week right now. Okay, this weekend. Um, I am filming this actually on 22nd so this might be a very powerful message it might be very very powerful so what's happening here in this household i'm gonna cut the deck and i hear to cut it into four for some reason two three four taking it from here and here is what i'm guided to do wow so it's really obvious why this person does not want the other to leave. Um, the reason being, there really is a financial security here because we have the Seven of Swords. Uh, obviously, you can talk about truths coming out or someone not wanting to speak the truth. I do feel it's coming out here, um, maybe even during the full moon time. But we have the Five of Pentacles, and this is the energy of going from a queen to a beggar. It's really weird. I'm not quite sure how or why this is possible because I feel like if someone left, you know, this woman is going to be cared for one way or another, especially if it's a divorce. But this woman is really, really worried about money. Okay. Um, there's someone here who can't hold in any lies any longer, who cannot bite their tongue is the message I'm hearing. I cannot bite my tongue anymore. I'm hearing I don't care. So that's what's happening here, okay? Why? Oh, yeah. So the woman here, the woman in the situation, the female, um, they can be married, but they do not have to be. This card for me, this Ten of Pentacles, again, is actually of uh, energy of someone who's just extremely controlling, who's not letting something go very invasive, very controlling, thinks that, you know, they rule the world. But really, this woman doesn't rule the world, or she wouldn't be so worried about her financial loss here in this situation. Um, maybe this woman was hoping to get married if they weren't married. But let's just go into the reading. So what's happening here between the two of them right now in the household? So we have the Queen of Fire. This could be someone trying to stop this person from leaving. I always look at this as a blockage, maybe trying to look really pretty, trying to look really 
nice and spiritual and kind and glamorous and, you know, bringing back the olden day type of energy. Uh, you know, I'm a princess. Don't leave me. You'd be silly to leave me. It'd be your loss type of energy. I'm a wish. I'm a dream. Don't leave. Well, if you're such a wish and a dream, let them leave, right? Who's this person stopping or what are they stopping? What is this big situation? We have the three of cups and the high priestess. But what I'm getting is this person no longer has the control to manipulate the situation. And they're trying to stop someone who is seeing the truth. This relationship may have gone on for 19 years is what I'm hearing. But I was going to say nine years. This could, be, could have been a long relationship. It could have been a very drawn out relationship where, you know, one person just wouldn't let the other person go. And I'm seeing the other person is madly in love. There's a wish this other person has. There's another person, probably you, the viewer, that this person may even want to marry. Wow, this has been... I'm hearing procrastinated for too long. Like this has been procrastinating this move. Um, but this person's no longer getting fooled. You may be dealing with someone who has long hair, who's very stylish. She's very unique. Um, I don't know. I'm hearing fedora. I think those are a type of hats. So maybe the person wears a fedora or just like, you know, they have something special about them. They wear special clothing or or unique clothing. You know, they stick out a bit. And now this person is like looking at the other, your person is looking at the person they're with right now. Like, wow, I was a fool. I was fooled. This person thought the other one was, you know, a star or was something extremely special, but there was a lot of hidden truths. There was a lot of things this person chose not to see. So your person is just looking back at this one, trying to stop them like you're a fool. You thought I was a fool too, right? What happened here? What happened? What came out? You know, something came out. Something happened. Um, okay, it could be that this person found out. There's something here with this is my home. So I don't know, and I'm seeing it here too. I don't know. Wow. This person turned into a monster. This person switched up out of nowhere. Um, so what I'm hearing is there was an argument. There was some sort of an ending energy. Okay. Like let's, let's maybe let's take a step back. Let's not do this anymore. And oh, gosh, my poor little plant. Sorry. I don't know why he's in danger right now. It's going to move him away. Oh my gosh spilling everywhere this is what i'm getting there was some sort of an argument this person lashed out this queen of wands energy this controlling energy lashed out and basically said to your person something like you're not going anywhere or you're not taking my house this is what i'm getting something like this like this pretty little princess turned into a monster and there was something to do with money as well. Like maybe this person said, if you leave, you're paying me or you're giving me the house. There was something said. Let's see if we can get any more on that. Anyhow, it's opened your person's eyes. Your person is, look at it. Like you're not leaving. Ace of Wands with the big lock on it. Um, you can't go. There's something like this. This has been on this person's mind. This argument may not have happened recently. It may have happened before, and this ever since then, this person may have kind of um, secluded themselves from this relationship and just been feeling stranded within and not really talking about it, just trying to figure out what they can do to get out of this. Whatever was said, yeah, it had to do with money, it had to do with investments, or it had to just do with, like, you're not taking it. I'll hurt you. There we go. Okay. Because I kept on hearing hurt, hurt, hurt. And I'm like, what? Your person is hurt? Well, this other person threatened to hurt them. And one way to hurt someone is by threatening to take their finances, take their material wealth, take what they've earned. 
So what did your person think once they, they got this? They realized that this is a one-sided partnership. They also realized, you know, the truth of this person. And they're not this beautiful orange rosy color. They're actually very scary. Like it's not even that they're dark. That doesn't matter. But they're, there's a an evilness to them. Okay. So, okay. So we have the lovers. What's this about? I feel like this is where your person, what your person's being deprived of is love because they're staying in this relationship miserable. And it's because they were kind of under a bit of a trance. It's not going to go on for long. Um, and what I'm also getting here is like this person is going to take their power back and really lay it down to the other, to the karmic really like be like listen here you know so what's this person going to say to the karmic listen here is the first word i got i just heard listen here sunny with the sun card um knight of pentacles nine of cups and the seven of cups so right now your person is really laying down the law and telling the other person listen here you're gonna go you're gonna be fine you're gonna get everything you want and you're gonna do it you're gonna go Or they're saying, I'm going to go. Like I heard, you go your way, I go mine. So interesting. Okay. So what's the waiting about then? So there was a waiting period because this person was hoping that the karmic would find somewhere else to go, would find something else to spark their joy. But instead, what the karmic did in this situation is kind of just bow out and kind of disappear. Like, you know, just not around in the home, not answering the calls, can't find her. She comes home at night. There was something here where she just tried to stay out of the picture. Probably thinking you know, everything will just disappear. All the problems will disappear. Everyone will just leave her a house on her own one day if she just disappears type of thing or doesn't, you know, cause a nuisance or something. But something happened. That didn't happen. That didn't last too long. I think, yeah, your person probably was like, hey, perfect, I'm going. And this is when this other energy came out. I'm hearing, okay, we're going to court. Yeah, just like that. Okay, we're going. We're going to court. The death card. Wow, I don't like the way this reading is touching up my plants. It's really annoying me. <laughs> I don't know why that's happening. Um, but yeah, so this person, um, oh, wow. So look at what I see sticking out here. The Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So this person says, yeah, okay, we're going to court them. You want to leave? I'm getting everything. And even the Four of Pentacles, the most greediest card in this deck. Literally, it's all about greed. That's all it's about. I'm getting everything. Huh. Okay, so let's get a couple more cards here and see what's happening. I'm, I just hear I'm getting everything. Girl talk, moving on happily single, living in the moment and having fun, talking. I feel like this person is actually probably talking to others or like another person texting. Um, maybe they've already started to move on, right? Maybe they've already planned their vacation, sudden change, um, transformation, upheaval, so the karmic really does. This karmic was wearing uh, this karmic, very selfish energy. I'm seeing self-indulgent. I'm seeing the snake. Look at how the cards are sniffing out right now. I can't even get to other ones. Self-indulgent. Snake. Separation mask. I think if, if there was this like a little bit of separation in the home, you're, this person was putting on this like angelic energy. Like, oh, everything is so good. Everything is so great. But... It's not. So I'm just going to see where this story is going, and then I'm going to continue on Patreon if you want to join me. If not, I do think that this gives you enough of an idea. 
So yeah, the communication, that's where this is going. This person is going to disrupt. Oh my gosh, look at the cards sticking up. Disruption and moving on. This person is going to communicate. They're not going to hold this back anymore. You know, they're going to say, hey, I am moving on. I'm moving. You go your way. I go mine. So I'm going to dig into all of this. We'll use the dark little deck here that we use for the karma. Uh, karmic energy and yeah i hope to see you guys there i do have an option of four dollars and 44 cents on my patreon that you can get all access to all the videos and i have other options on there as well wow the first card coming out six of wands with the justice and the judgment i'm seeing here this person's going to be a, a success at what they're doing okay bye for now worried about losing everything like if you go in that energy you are going to lose everything you are so, I mean, you focus on what you want. Bye, guys.